What is up guys? This is the Awesome Nerd Show and today we're unboxing a new box. It is from Loot Crate though, but it is the Marvel Gears and Goods. So we pretty much only got this for one reason, or bro did. Um, and so we'll probably see why because they advertise and stuff, that's why. But we may, depending on how we like it, we may continue to get a couple more or something just to see. I've not been impressed with this bo these boxes in the past. I just feel it's kind of a waste for the price you pay. But let's just take a look. So we're going to, I guess, start since it's here on top. Um, start with the reason that um, he wanted this box. And that is for this sweatshirt. I guess you'd call it shirt. But of the Scarlet Spider, the Ben Riley Spider-Man. So there you can see it's the blue shirt with the cutoff sleeve. So it is like a real thin sweatshirt. But it's got the sleeves cut off of it. Because that's how his shirt looks. And um, so it's the light blue color. And you can see the spider there. And then on the very bottom it does have the red um, bottom to it and everything so it's really cool like I said if if it wasn't a um, costume type uh, outfit it would be weird because you have a um, sleeveless sweatshirt which is kind of weird at least in my opinion but it's a like I said a real thin material and it's um, kind of rough it feels reminds me of a towel on the inside um, but it I think it looks really nice and then I think um, he's going to be getting a lot of red Under Armour yep. and put wearing it underneath it so it looks like the um, Spider-Man and stuff. You just need like the little gauntlet things he's got or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool outfit for a cosplay. And so our next item up here is we got another Spider-Man. So we got the black suit Spider-Man here. Um, don't know what it is, so let's see. So it's some sort of metal, or at least it's heavy like metal. Um, so there we've got a spider web with the black suit Spider-Man on there in the background. And I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a picture frame or a hook of some sort. So the Spider-Man guy does obviously um, come out. I don't know. If, I guess it could be a thing you sit um, yeah, like stuff is. on. It's a like, like this. phone or picture yeah. holder. It just seemed at a weird angle. Um, it seems like it's too far back, but I guess it is. So we got the two little hooks here. And then, of course, the Spider-Man there. Um, it'd be... I like him in the front, though, there, because it's like he's no looking out. But if it's in the back, you wouldn't be able to see it very well. But I guess, yeah, if you do sit it like that, it could be a thing. You know, sit like a picture or, um, uh, yeah, like anything You could, that's, like, flat. Like, they make these things that you can sit this on. So I really like the design, like the spider webbing. And it's a real, like, heavy metal. So you wouldn't have it falling over. And then, of course, the black suit Spider-Man on there looks really cool and everything. It'd be could probably find something else to make this into, like attach something, and it could be like a coat hook type thing or something, I don't know. But that's uh, still pretty cool. Then next up here, it looks like we've got a drawstring bag, again, maybe with more Spider-Man, because we got webbing all over it. Yeah, it looks like Spider-Man. So on the back side, it's pure webbing, and then on the front side, we've got webbing with a bunch of stuff related to Peter Parker, at least I'd assume. So we've got some school books, we've got his camera, um, some shoes that look like Chuck Taylors, and then... I can't tell what's at the bottom. It just looks, I don't know if it's supposed to be like his Spider-Man suit or something going on in there. But then, of course, it is a drawstring. So I like the design and everything with the spider web. It is pretty neat, but probably nothing. The uh, strings here are really like cheap, thick, uh, thin strings and stuff. So probably not going to be too sturdy or anything. But I like the bag design. Next up, it looks like we've got a poster here. So let's take a look. Um, I can already tell here that it is like a paper poster, so I have to be careful with it. Oh, that looks really cool. So there we've got a poster. Of course, it's got a bunch of different Spider-Mans there, all in a webbing. So it looks, I can't really tell all the Spider-Mans. Like, I see Spider-Punk, um, the black suit Spider-Man coming off or whatever with Venom there. Oh, big time Spider-Man's in there. That's the black and red one. Okay, then we got Iron Spider, Spider-Man Noir, the Ben Riley one there. Then we got the jacket, um, Miles Morales. Spider-Man 2099. So yeah, all sorts of different Spider-Man in here. That's a really nice picture. Um, it's so that's one thing that's really cool about Spider-Man. You have all the different versions and stuff going on in there. So it's really cool that they've thrown a whole bunch into this picture and it looks really cool. And the pin for this month, again, another surprise. So everything Spider-Man in this box, which is, I guess, pretty cool. Um, but we've got, it says, Thwimp or something like that. And it's a picture of Spider-Man and he's shooting a webbing. So that is a, it looks like size-wise it should be a magnet, but it does have the pins there in the back. So it is a pin for the month. And it says Spider-Man. So I assume that's what the theme is for this box. So that's a really, that size and everything looks really cool. So that's a nice pin. So that looks like that is everything from box. Then we got the uh, like postcard here or whatever with what the items are. So there we've got the Ben Riley Scarlet Spider there in the, as the picture stuff. So again, that's what that 
um, sweatshirt is from and everything, and that's why bro's got the red Under Armour to wear underneath it. You can see there and stuff, so that looks pretty cool. But on the back here, it says that Thwip, the T-H-W-I-P, so I guess that's supposed to be the sound of Spider-Man or something. But, um, so it, that's all on a bunch of stuff. So I don't know if that's what the theme is or if it's just Spider-Man. But on the back here, it says we've got the um, Scarlet Spider sleeveless hoodie, which of course looked really cool. The Secret Wars Spider-Man phone stand is what it says. So I guess that's what that is supposed to be there. So that's still pretty cool. Um, so that's awesome. Then we've got the um, mini costume Spider-Man poster. Again, that poster, that looked really nice. Then we've got the um, Spider-Man clinch bag. Again, I like the artwork, but the bag's kind of cheap, so it's not going to be that good. And then the Spider-Man, the flip pin as we got there. So that is really cool. And this is a nice picture. That's like an added, like, nice picture. That's, you know, like a comic book cover right there, just in a postcard type thing. And I just want to show off here at the very end of just showing all the Spider-Man. So we got a Spider-Man with the thwimp there. And then a little um, New York City outline there. It says, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, established 1962. So that is it for this Marvel Gear and Good box. I have to say, compared to um, past boxes, I really like this. I mean, it's really cool with all the Spider-Man. Like, for me personally, I would absolutely love if everything in this was Captain America. I would, like, die to have that box. But the stuff in this actually is nice like the pictures look really nice and like I we want to keep those stuff and then this I'm sure I can find something to do with the bag like I said it's not that good and then of course bro really wanted the sweatshirt and everything so everything's going to be pretty useful like I said when normally when I see this it's a lot of stuff that I would never personally use so I am impressed with this box so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to let us know in the comments down below what item was your favorite or do you have a favorite Spider-Man out of all the different Spider-Man versions um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more unboxings and we'll see you next time Thank you.